Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. Alright, time for another arena run. I'm hoping for a rogue. I really feel like playing a rogue right about now. But, let's see what we get. Mm, no rogue. Okay. Well... Huh. I want to go warrior, but that didn't go so well last time. I probably should go warrior anyway, though. The thing is, I do have a daily quest that involves mages. But I don't want to focus on that. Yeah, I don't really know how to play mage. And I think a lot of what makes them particularly powerful, things like pyroblasts, are things you can't rely on in arena. And I really want to play a class that has a lot of weapons. Which is definitely the warrior at this point. So yeah, alright, let's go the warrior again. Alright. Alarmobot, hell no. Mortal Strike. Eh. It's, I mean... 4 damage for 4 is not great. If you're under 12 health, or if you have 12 or below, it deals, deals 6. 6 for 4 is... It's not very good, to be honest. I mean, it's like a fireball. Except you have to be at 12 or below to actually get the same... the same... value... of a fireball, so it's not great. Um, on the other hand, it is removal. Even if it's not ideal removal, it is removal. But... I think I'm gonna go with the Abomination. It's kind of a specialized card, but in certain situations, it can be really, really good. If your opponent has a bunch of very small characters out, the Death Rattle could just ruin their day. I mean, if you can get this out, and they're not able to silence this card, they have to attack it. In which case, they have to kill it. Which guarantees that this damage is dealt to, you know, the rest of their board. So if they have a bunch of, if they have a bunch of small stuff out, it can be devastating. It can really turn the game around. But it also can be absolutely useless. If you have a bunch of weak stuff out, it's it might hurt you more than hurts them. So... Hmm... It's kind of hard. I don't... I don't love either card. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with the removal. More reliable. Hmm... Well, definitely not the Magma Rager, but the Dread Corsair or Spiteful Smith are both good cards for a warrior. I think I'm actually going to go with the Dread Corsair. Yeah, I want some taunt. I definitely want some taunt. I've been lacking that in my a lot of my past three decks, I guess. Yeah, actually, I think I think all of my past three decks have been lacking taunt. So let's go with this. Shield block, no thanks. Um, well, okay. These aren't great. But I'll go with the Worgen Infiltrator. Might give me a turn one play. Actually, maybe I should have gone with the Thrallmarl, Thrall, Thrall Marl, whatever the hell it is, Farseer. Because I could potentially trigger that with an Inner Rage or something, but eh. Well, this is easy. Whirlwind. This is also very, very easy. Arcanite Reaper, hell yeah. Oh, wow, okay, hmm. These are all good cards. Inner Rage is great. Battle Rage, well, I do need card draw. But can I really pass up another Arcanite Reaper? I don't think I can. Hell no, I'm taking it. Alright, let's... I do already have a 4-cost Taunt. Of course, it's not a very good four coster. Of course, it's also very likely to cost less when I have a weapon out. So I'm thinking, do I want Ascension or do I just want to go with the Jungle Panther? Let's go with Ascension. All right. Hmm. I don't know. They're all decent cards. Yeah, they're all decent. 
I'm thinking the Earthen Ring Farseer might be nice just to... Not to heal up me, but to heal up a minion, like a taunt. Just get it back up or something. And I don't have any three costers. But of course, this gives me more punch. Well, actually, no, it doesn't really. It gives me three, four worth of stats. Which isn't any more punch, it's just a little bit more body. One more hit point. Just spread out into two. I think I'm going to go with the Earthen Ring Farseer. Actually. Hmm. I don't really care for the Iron Forge Rifleman. The Battle Cry of one damage just... Eh, I don't know. It, it can be good. But let's go for some punch here. Let's go with Frost Elemental. Ooh, hello. Well, this is an easy choice. Emperor Cobra can be nice, but... I, I don't think it's a great card. The Bloodsail Corsair is, I think, a terrible card. Remove one durability from your opponent's weapon. Whoop-dee-doo. So definitely Defender of Argus. Yeah. And that pretty much covers me for taunt. I've, I've got a Dread Corsair, Ascension Shieldmaster, and the possibility of having two more taunts with this. So I'm pretty good on taunt. Cold, li uh, cold Light Seer, no thanks. Arcane Golem, give your opponent a Mana Crystal. No thanks, I'll take this. Big Stompy Stompy, but it's a 7-7 seven, seven for 7, which I don't think is good. Murloc Raider, eh. I'll go with the Dark Iron Dwarf. I do need some low costers, though, but for now I'll go with this. Ooh, okay. I think probably another Whirlwind. <laughs> I had this amazing play earlier that I wanted to share with someone, but now I just can't remember what it was. Damn. That sucks. Um, 2-2 two, two weapon. I still don't know about that. I mean, it can be really nice early game if you get this out on turn 4 to get a, a, you know, get something out and also be able to smash something in the face on the same turn. That's nice, but I think I have to take the AoE. Hmm. Let's see. Questing Adventurer. That's one that can quickly get out of control. If you manage to play two cards to buff it up, it turns into a really good card. If you play one more, it turns into a 3-3 three, three for 3, which is mediocre. If you play two more, you get a 4-4 four, four for 3, which is really good. So as long as you can get two cards out, it's damn good. Of course, the first minion you play each, the first minion you play each turn costs one less is also good. Injured Blade Master, hmm. I could possibly combine it with the Earthen Ring Farseer, but no, that's, that's better for something like a a priest that can actually reliably heal it. So... I think I'll go with the Pine Size Summoner. Just for no, Yeah, just for actually my first two-coster. I don't have any two-costers. Let's do that. Ooh, this is easy. I already have two Whirlwinds, so I think I'm good. And Warsong Commander is just really, really good. Ooh. Another Arcanite Reaper. Now I remember. Ooh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me. Awesome. That'll... That'll... I can't... I can't see my keyboard. That'll... See the record. You are now speaking to an audience. What do you say? In the meantime, Raging Organ, Rampage... I don't think I want a third Alcanide Reaper. Or Arcanide Reaper, rather. Let's go with the Raging Organ. I'm hoping... It was. You know about the card that changes your hero? Oh, you... Uh, Jiraxis? Yeah. I think so. Jiraxis, or however it's spelled. Yeah, Rampage. Yep, Jiraxis. Jiraxis is so fun. Is that the Rampage or Raging Worgen? At the moment, I don't have any reliable way to activate the Raging Worgen, but it's a pretty good chance that I'm going to get it in the next 15 cards. 
I'm interested in this story now. A priest versus a warlock. Oh, copies a card from their hand. <laughs> Juraxis? <laughs> Did you copy Juraxis out of their hand? What a card to copy out of someone's hand. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yep, you have to use it. You have to use Jaraxxus if you have it, even if it costs you the game. You have to use Jaraxxus. That is rule number one of Hearthstone. Jaraxxus versus Jaraxxus. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But who won? Oh, that's great. That uh, that doesn't happen very often. That's a rare thing to see. All right, let's go with the raging organ. Wisp, no thanks, Morlock Raider. Uh, you know, I kind of need some lower cost ones. I kind of want to do that. It's kind of a crappy card, though. I mean, well, it's a 2 1 for 1. Makes me wish it had happened to you on camera. Well, I had something. Well, it wasn't that epic with Jaraxxus, but I did have the Jaraxxus when I was playing as a Warlock thing. Where someone played Jaraxxus and I killed them anyway, but it was hilarious. Definitely not as epic as that, though. That is epic. So, Murloc Raider or Darkscale Healer? I have one other 5 coster minion. I don't have a lot of... Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of early games, so I'm gonna go with the 1 coster. Amani Berserker. That thing can be crazy. I also don't have any 7 costers, but I really need 2 costers, so let's go with that. Ooh. I'm gonna have a lot of enraged creatures. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, what's better, Argent Commander or Sunwalker? Hmm. They're both damn good, and they both cost six. Do I need more Taunt? Do I want more Taunt? What do I even need to protect? A Warsong Commander and my Pint-Sized Summoner would be worth protecting. And I suppose my Enraged... Amani Berserkers would definitely be worth protecting because they're, you know, assuming they get one damage done to them, they're gonna have they're gonna have five two for their stats, which makes them very vulnerable. But I think I just need more aggression. I have a decent amount of taunt. Let's go with the Argent Commander. A fiery war axe. I will gladly take you. I think that's all I need for weapons. That gives me kind of an early game weapon and two later game weapons. Good to go. Hmm. Let's see. They're all good. Well, maybe not the Archmage. I don't know if that's great for me. This is a nice bit of removal. How many five costers do I have? As far as minions go, I mean, I have one Stampeding Kodo. And how many three costers? Are there any Farseer, Raging Worgen, and Warsong Commander? Okay, let's go with the Stormbite Commando. Okay, I definitely need card draw. So I'm going to go with Battle Rage. Don't want another whirlwind. I've got two. I'm good. Uh, let's go some early, earlier game stuff. Flesh eating ghoul. Um, I have a decent amount of, a good amount of four costers. I think I'm gonna go with a storm and champion. Yeah, let's get something big and scary. 
I have no silence at the moment, so let's go with the Iron Beak. Okay. Another Flesh Eating Ghoul? I don't know if I want two. I don't think I do. Let's go with another Dark Iron. Slam. Hmm. That could be nice. Yeah, it could be a 2 cost, 2 damage removal spell, or if it's not removal, necessarily, it could be used for card draw. Like, if something has 3 health, you could use that to get it down to 1, and then draw a card, and then attack it with a little creature you might have. Could be good. Let's go with that. Hmm. I think I need more card draw, pretty much. That seems to be a, a running problem with my arena runs, is running out of cards. Corcoran Elite is pretty tempting, though, but the thing is, I don't have a lot that can actually really give it a lot more damage. I don't have any Inner Rages, unfortunately, so I'm going to go with the card draw. Okay, my last card. Upgrade. If you have a weapon, give it plus one, plus one, otherwise you equip a one, three weapon. Eh, I have two Arcanine Reapers. I think I'm kind of good. I think I'm going to go with the Imp Master. Okay. Well. It seems like a decent deck. Not great. Would have liked more removal, definitely. I actually would have liked a lot more removal. I do have a good amount of removal in the form of weapons, though. Two Arcanite Reapers is damn nice. But I don't have Cleave or anything like that. Unfortunately. I've got two Whirlwinds, though, but th that's weak. Anyway, let's see how it goes. I'm probably going to get pounded into the ground. Here we go. I finished 3-3 three, three last time. Well, let's see. I finished 2-3, and then 2-3, and then the last game was 3-3. Three, three. So I'm hoping for a 4-3, but I'll be happy with a 3. Three wins, and I'm good. Hmm. I only have enough gold for one more arena run. I hope I do well enough to get 60 more. I'm running out, man. My supply, what am I gonna do? No, oh, I have to fight a freaking dirtbag. No, it's not an insult, literally. Their name is Dirtbag. Uh, let's get rid of those. Should I keep the Dark Iron Dwarf? Uh, nah. Ooh, that's... Mm, that's okay. I, I don't really want to use the Iron Beak all this early. It's kind of a waste. Actually, it's definitely a waste. Greetings. Yeah, if, if you play a 2-1 without anything to silence, and th this is my only silence in the entire deck, just no. Just no. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, let's get that thing out there. Hopefully, whatever they put out there doesn't have three attack. Ooh, I can get some serious enraged stuff out there. The Amani Berserker and the next turn Raging Worgen. Come on, what have you got, dirtbag? Oh, coining. Alright. It's probably going to have three attack then if they're coining for it. Oh, oh. Wow, okay. Hmm. Interesting. That's going to severely limit what they can do thanks to the overload, but it does, of course, shut down my plans here. Okay, I could silence one just to get rid of the taunt, but what's the point? Um... I kind of want to slam it and then kill it just to get a card. What now? Maybe that's not worth it. All 
Alright, let's get this out there and let's just attack. Alright. That puts them in kind of an awkward position. They can either choose to take out my Amani Berserker, and then if they attack my Raging Worgen with the other one, they're just going to enrage it. Or they could take out my Raging Worgen and then leave the Amani Berserker. Unless, of course, they have some sort of removal in their hand. But really, what could they do with one mana? There's the answer! That's what they can do with one mana. Damn it. Alright. I'm already at a card disadvantage at this point. And I have basically nothing to play. I'm not going to play my Iron Beak. Well. Please play something with um, two or less attack. Two or less attack, two or less... Okay. That's going to die. Yeah, let's just get that out there. Goodbye. And I could just pound through that next turn and still stay alive. Okay. Let's just get the Dread Corsair out there, even though I don't have a weapon to combo it with, but why not? Let's see. I think I want some cards here. So, I think what I'm going to do is do this. Then this is going to give me two cards. Hmm. Just put up a taunt? Yeah, let's put up a taunt. Oh yeah, it already attacked. Okay. That puts me in a pretty good position. I'm not going to be running out of cards anytime soon. That's okay. It still has taunt. Now it's dead. You killed my froggy. I don't like you. Hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I could charge with a four coster. Yep. Yeah. I could slam. Nah, it doesn't seem worth it to slam when I can just kill it straight up. Um, hmm. I think I might just trade with it. Hold on, wait a minute. Maybe I don't need to. Let's just play a big stompy stompy. Yeah. Of course, I can just take that out with my Searing Totem, but then at that point, it will have three for one. Which is damn good. And next turn, I can play my Warsong Commander plus my Worgen Infiltrator and Dread Corsair. And charge with them. Okay, hold on. Plays. I have plays. Hmm. I most certainly have plays. Okay, slam. Four, uh, five. Hold on. This is complex. Three. Four, five. Alright, hopefully I don't mess this up. Put this out. Pop that. Let 
we should just ignore it. Nah. I want to kill it. Alright, silence that, got rid of it, so I used my 6 damage on them instead of their piddly 0-1. Not sure if that was the best play, but it seemed to work out pretty well. It's kind of weird to use a Whirlwind on to kill only one creature, but... Felt like the right thing for some reason. Hmm. Lightning Storm. <laughs> but they can't take out my 6-1. Whew! Thank God for that. Okay. Well, I have Warsong Commander, which I'm probably going to use. How do I use it? Uh, if I do that, plus my Worgen Infiltrator, I'll get up to 3 damage. Not enough. Uh, that plus my Dread Corsair would be able to kill it. What now? There's no great way to do this, really. I could have just I could just ignore it, I suppose. What now? Should I just ignore it? Maybe I should. Maybe I should ignore it. No, I want to kill it. Do I want to charge with you? Yeah, what the hell, let's get some pressure. Alright, so the 6-1 Storm and Champion is giving me some value here. Doing pretty good with it. They probably got something to kill it this turn. But they have overload. Oh, wow, they're overloading themselves to death. Hmm. Doesn't leave me in a great spot, though. Even more overload, okay. I mean, they're wiping my stuff out, but... They're severely limiting themselves. I think I just play everything. Yeah, I mean, they've used so much removal at this point, why not? Let's do it. Probably don't have any any more removal at this point. At least, certainly not more lightning storms, I would think. They've already used, what, two? Yeah, they need cards. Well, I can attack the Noish Inventor and get a card with my Acolyte of Pain. Ooh, hello. Alright, so before doing any of that... Bring pain. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Let's get a card. Okay, sweet. Wait a minute, I need to ask myself, do I have lethal? Four? Six. Seven? Eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. No, I don't. Okay. I think I should probably just ignore what they have on the board and just go for them. Well, maybe not. What now? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Nah, let's go for them. No doubt they can kill some of my stuff, but they only have 5 damage on the board. There's not much they can do with what they have on the board, so... Yeah, I'm pretty confident. I mean, if if just my Urgent Commander lives next turn and they don't have any taunt or anything... 
I can just punch him in the face with that, and GG. Thank you for the card. What can you possibly do? The most frustrating losses are the ones that have nothing to do with yourself, with the RNG throwing nothing but your... but your high-costers at you. Yeah. Hate it. And that happens. Ooh, nice. Pop that divine shield. What are you gonna do? Can you can you remove enough from the board to stay alive? What do you do? You have taunt? Mm, no, that's GG. Well played. Whew. With all those fancy plays, I was worried for a second. I thought they had something I was gonna wipe my board or something, but. Nope. Ah, well I can wipe the sweat off my brow. And take a sip of tea. Mmm. Alright, well I actually won my first game. The first game of the arena run, I've won. That's a nice change of pace. On my road to 12 victories. Just a little bit more and I'll be there. Ooh, nice. Um, Just in case I get a weapon, I might want to keep that. Earthen Ring Farseer, do I really need to restore 3 health to something this early? Not really. But, I mean, it's a 3-3 three, three for 3, which is decent already, so I think I will keep it. It's a pretty good opening hand. Murloc Raider turn 1, turn 2, Almani Berserker. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Greetings. Well met. Just gonna save the coin for something else. I got a pretty clear progression here. One coster, two coster, three coster, four coster. Ooh, this is a perfect time to throw out the Almani Berserker. Because if they play those things, I can just bash right into it. And enrage it. I could slam. <laughs> I could slam the Silver Hand Recruit. Yeah, let's not do that. Of course, I'm going to take out my 2-1 with their 1-1. One, one. But that still kind of maybe works out in my favor after all they're taking out a 1-coster for a 2-coster. But of course, this isn't a card, so it's not exact. Is that... What the hell? The one that gives each person two cards? Why would you pick that? I guess I'm just gonna enrage it by attacking it and killing it. What else could I do? Hmm. The thing is, if I heal it up, you might think I can just heal it up, but if you heal up an enraged creature, it actually gets rid of the enrage. I think. At least that's how it used to work, I believe. Hmm. But if I don't play that, what the hell do I play? Alright, let's play this and then this. I suppose I could have coined Dread Corsair. Which probably was a better play, because it could potentially protect the Amani Berserker and its damage potential. Yeah. I may, I don't know. I mean, Earthen Ring Farseer wasn't a bad play. Even though it got rid of the Enrage, it still would ensure that this creature got rid of something, and it was healed back up. And I have another creature on the board, so I don't know. Alright, but thankfully they didn't. So... So... I really want to protect this Almani Berserker. Hmm. Stampeding Kodo might be the play here. Nah. 
No, it's not. Yeah, alright, let's just get a taunt up. And just apply some more pressure. I've certainly got the early pressure down, no doubt about that. Let's keep pressing that. And they'll have to throw everything they have against my Dread Corsair to kill it. Alright, that's gonna have to die, but I can simply kill that with a Stampeding Kodo. They're probably gonna throw everything they have at this. You can't do that. The 2020 Lightwell? What? Oh. Holy crap. Lightwell? What the hell? That thing's been buffed? Talk about buffage. Yep, they're gonna throw that at that too, kill it, right? Or, no? Oh. Strange, why didn't I? Hmm. Anyway. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Actually, the Stampede and Kodo might not necessarily kill that. Which would be awkward. Alright, this is kind of weird. What the hell do I do here? I get Whirlwind and then Stampede and Kodo. Which would increase my chances of getting that. Let's do that. Oh! We're, oh god, I didn't read the card. Deal one damage to all minions. What the fuck? I didn't read it. It's not the enemy minions, it's all minions. Can you say misplay? Well, I'm kind of fucked now. What in the hell was I thinking? Thank you for killing that. Jesus. I fucking killed all my early pressure. Everything I built up. I killed all of my early pressure that I built up. I just destroyed so much damage potential right there. Oh my god. Deals damage to all minions. Damage to all minions. All minions. All minions. I will never forget that. I can guarantee you I will never forget that. Not now. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Where's my Arcanite Reapers? Come on. I could slam that deal five damn. Oh shit, I can't really do much to that thing. And yeah, there's really not much I can do to that at all. Let's see what I get. I can't believe I whirlwinded. Well, it's not a bad play. Actually, no, that's a great play. And you die. Ooh. Pretty much exactly what I needed there. Deal one damage to all characters. All minions, I mean. All minions. All minions. Never forget. Never forget. Amani Berserker, I will never forget you. 2013 to 2013. Ready, sir. Now is actually a pretty good time for a mortal strike. Actually, it's quite a nice time. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Four. Five, six, yeah, so I kill you. I attack you. And then I heal you back up. Cool. I have a pretty big card disadvantage at this point, though, but... I do have Battle Rage, which should help. I just hope they actually do damage to me, because I count as a character. Draw a card for each damage-friendly character. That includes me. So, please, punch me in the face. That's not punching me in the face. Ooh, okay. Okay. 
Oh, yes, please. No, you need to damage me. Oh, I'm not damaged. Alrighty. Well. Attack you. Between my Stormpike Commando and my Dark Iron Dwarf, I can bash through the wall. But it would die, unfortunately. Hmm. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. I think now might be time to, the time to Whirlwind and Battle Rage. Alright, let's do this. Gotta plan this out right. Then... Battle Rage. That gives me three... Oh, two cards, right. Only two cards. That's fine. Whatever. Then... Hmm... I wish I didn't have five health. Alright, not bad. Got me some more cards. It's kind of a weird play. And everything's dead. It's okay, though. I've got more cards. For the crusade! Reporting for duty. Now, I could Frost Elemental and just charge with it. I or I could Sentient Shieldmaster and Imp Master. I kind of want to just charge. Nah, but if I do that, my Warsong Commander is going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's put up a taunt. Bash through my wall if you would like. There's a raging worgen waiting for you on the other side. So they can use both of these against that, and then my raging worgen would then be able to attack the Silverhand Recruit, in, thereby enraging it. And allowing it to attack again with its Wind Fury, which could then take out the Scarlet Crusader or something else. Hmm. So next turn I can freeze something in Warsong Commander or Imp Master and Warsong Commander, plus maybe something else I get. But I'm thinking just kind of go for the throat and control what they have on the board. Ooh. Okay. They're gonna hit that, and they're gonna hit it with the Silver Hand Recruit, and then use one of... And they're gonna use their... Uh, Scarlet Crusader to kill my Raging Worgen. That's very bad trade for me. That's a good play. That's a really good play. Wait, what? Wait, what do you... What do you yeah, use, use the Divine Shield. That's what it's for. I was worried they were gonna misplay for a second, which would've been good for me, but... I would've been sad. Oh, God. Ow. That's getting frozen. That is getting frozen right away. Hmm. Yeah, Storm and Champion would just... <laughs> I could sacrifice the Storm and Champion against it, but... Eh. Let's not do that. Let's just control it, and I can deal with it at a later date. Okay, I'm gonna squelch you, because you're really fucking annoying. Stop spamming emotes. Then 
next turn I can Imp Master and Storm and Champion. That's gonna die, right? Oh, no. You can... F oh, I thought, I thought they are freezing the Warsong Commander. Well, they're just gonna kill it with their Scarlet Crusader, of course. Alright, their board's big and scary, so I'm probably gonna die. Because I don't have any taunt or anything like that. And this thing is about to become unfrozen. In fact, I think they have lethal on the board. Okay, Argent Commander. <laughs> Can't do much. Nope, that Argent Commander really can't do much. Hmm. This isn't good. I'm pretty sure I've lost. What now? Yeah, that doesn't really do much. I could take two damage potential off the board. I really... There's no point in going for their throat, right? I can't do crap. Or should I? Ah, there's no point. I don't know, just play stuff. I'm pretty sure I've lost this. There's really not much I can do to come back from this. Now it's 7 damage potential that's going to hit me in the face next turn. In fact, do they even have lethal on the board right now? 10? Wait, they, yeah, they have lethal. They have exactly lethal. Right? 10, f yeah. Well played. Well, they certainly have lethal now. Okay, yeah. Wag your dick in my face. I get it, you're big and scary. Hmm. 50 out of 100 on deal 100 damage to enemy heroes. 1-1. One, one. Okay. Alright, well hopefully I don't finish under 3 wins. God, that whirlwind play. I'm still thinking about it. Probably cost me the game. It probably did. Deal one damage to all minions. All minions. There's my Argonite Reaper. Nice of you to finally show up. Hmm, do I want the flesh eating ghoul list early? Eh, why not? Sure. But I'm keeping that damn weapon. Where were you last game? I'm disappointed in you, Arcanite Reaper. In fact, I never saw a single one of my three freaking weapons the entire match. Ooh, that's a good turn one play. That's a really good turn one play. I mean, at this point, it's pretty much guaranteed four damage at least. Fiery War Axe. I could take that out, or... I could coin, like, Imp Master. Which, given that both of these things have one health, it's probably a better play, actually. No. Yeah, let's coin Imp Master. So I can just kill that Leper Gnome with my Imp. And then if I even want to bother with the Silver Hand Recruit, I could also kill it. Ooh, that's a nasty sword. Not because of the damage it does, but rather because of the buffs. Although they're not going to get anything out of it this turn. Okay. Like, I don't want to punch you in the face. In fact, I think I will. Yeah. What now? This is the best play? I think it is. And buffs it up. 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, the, uh, the Flesh Eating Ghoul is a perfect combination with the Imp Master because you have a bunch of these Imps that are going to die. And also, their, uh, their Reinforced, their Silverhand Recruit, is also going to combo really badly for them. 
with the flesh eating ghoul. Okay, whirlwind. Let's play that. Let's not play that. Actually, well, it would buff it up to a five. Three or five two rather after the damage and it could take it out, but uh, I don't really want to do that. What now? If only I could do my goddamn Arcanite Reaper, it'd be perfect, absolutely perfect. Hmm. All right. How about this? What the fuck? <sighs> really? Really? Really, game? This is why this game's still in beta. Oh, and now it flips around. Thanks, game. That's the, the placement issue. So the battle, in case you didn't notice, the battle cry of the Defender of Vargas is to give adjacent minions plus one plus one and taunt. I played it to the right, so that my one one imp would have taunt, so that this card would have to bash into my imp. Instead, when I placed it to the right, it applied to a card that wasn't even near it. Thanks, game. You totally fucked me over there. Okay. There's not really a lot of minions I can play. I can't believe the Archer Commander next. It wouldn't be a very good play anyway, without taking advantage of its charge. I guess Dominion, I mean. Um. I kind of want to get my Arcanide Reaper out, which, I mean, it could be Swamp Oozed or whatever that thing's called. But the chance of actually getting that card and them having it in Arena is relatively low. I think it's the best play. Alright. There. Put anything on the board and I'm gonna punch it. I could even charge it down and then punch it if it's particularly large. Please don't have a Swamp Boost. Good you don't. Ooh. Alright, that's fine. I could just punch that down with my... Yeah, I could... I could take out everything they have on the board, actually. Yep. Yeah, let's do it. Punch you in the face. Take out your six damage potential right there, and we're good. Ow. Alright, Mortal Strike is looking rather good right about now. Or I could just use my Arcanide Reaper. It's five damage to take, though. I'm not sure I want to face tank that. Let's see. I really don't think I do, actually. No, let's let's just take that out and play this. And next turn, I could take out the Silverhand Recruit, getting up to four damage and Wind Fury, and then use the other four damage to kill something or just punch him in the face. Assuming it stays alive, or that could happen. Ooh, actually, this is going to combine pretty well with my Whirlwind. But hold on, it's also going to activate their Raging Worgen. There's going to be a lot of rage on the board. Hold on. Okay. Oh, God. Hold on. This is going to hurt my brain. Put out Whirlwind. I have a 4-2. Okay. Put out Whirlwind. I can kill this with my weapon. I have a 4-2. There's no way I can kill this without losing my Raging Worgen, right? 
pretty much not. Okay. So we do this. And then I punch you in the face. <sighs> I just have no way to kill you. Alright, well, I can at least do one hit on them. Yeah. Let's get that out, get that out. Get this out. I'll hold on to my weapon for now. Alright, big card disadvantage at the moment. Really? Really, I won't pass. We'll see about that. Ooh. Good play. Hmm. Right, well, I might as well just get that out there. Okay. Let's see. I could Whirlwind and punch it in the face, which would leave all my minions alive and free to do whatever they want. Which is nice. Yeah, I should probably do that. Okay. And what do I do with you? Do I kill you or do I just go for them? I'm just gonna go for them. I can only attack one of my things. Ah, I've got no cards. Not good. Top decking sucks. If I could pull Battle Rage, that'd be perfect. I could draw four cards for the cost of... What does it cost? Two, I think? <sighs> They're just gonna go for me, aren't they? Ouch. Yeah, I think they're just gonna go for me. No, they didn't. Okay. Well, I know what I'm gonna be healing. Do I save this for removal or just use it on their face? I might as well save it because I could always use it later. Well, not if they have taunt. Hmm. I'm gonna save it. Oh no, come back! Where's the dash? There's the dash. War warrior. Yes, I'm a worry warrior. Whatever the hell you say that. Warrero? Oh my god, what the hell's happening on the board? I think I just lost the game. I was looking down at the text. The hell did they do? <gasps> yeah. There's like no way I can win at this point, is there? Hold on. Five damage potential. <laughs> Great. So I can kill... I leave them with... Thirteen. Technically, I can survive, I think. I think. Right? Yeah, that leaves them with 13 damage potential on the board, and I have 14. I'm alive with one hit point.
Okay. I need a magic card right now. I'll just slam that. That's not going to help me. GG. Am I seriously 1-2 right now? <sighs> Wouldn't it be sad if I regressed to 1-3? That would suck so bad. Come on. Come on, please. Two three two three, and then a three three run. All I'm asking for is another three three run. Come on, come on, come on. Is that name Liquid Puke or Liquid Puck? I don't know. Hmm. Should I keep that? No. Or Song Commander. Should I keep that? I think I should. I don't actually want to play it all that early, but it is my only one after all, so I think I'll keep it. Alright, I can restore health to my Murloc Raider. Next turn, I can... <sighs> Do I want a Warsong Commander? No. I guess Earthen Ring Farseer, even though it can't actually be... Oh, great. Alright, hold on. I need to know what that is. What is it? Oh. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> Kind of nullified that trap there. It wasn't too effective. Well, that thing's gonna get chopped down. In fact, wait a minute. Oh, I can play that in the Dread Corsair, yeah. That's gonna cost what? One? Yeah. Sweet. Just attack them with that, since the damage golem should not be able to get, make its way through my Dread Course there without some sort of a removal spell. Next turn, I can Storm Pike, Storm Pike Commando to kill something. Or I could even Earthen Ring Farseer to heal up my taunt, if that works. <sighs> Another one. Great. I wonder if it's Snake Trap. Is that all you're gonna do? Hmm. Right. I kinda need to know what that is. So, let's just figure out. What, what is it? Misdirection. Instead, he attacks another random character. Oh, okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm perfectly, perfectly fine with that. Uh, I don't want to play the Storm by Commando. I have a taunt up. So I'm actually going to play this. And the next turn, anything else I put out can just charge ahead. I mean, of course, I could still have removal to take it out. But... We'll see. Because I could... Oh, God. Yeah, now's a pretty good time to play that. Although, it won't actually kill my stuff. But still. Ooh! What a time to get the Iron Beak Owl. Iron Beak Owl? Mm, 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 mm. That's me kissing your beak, you beautiful, fuzzy bastard. I love you. All right, I'm going to silence that piece of shit. 
Yep. Iron Beak Owl, you are going to sacrifice one for the team. But before doing that, I'm going to do this. Silence that piece of crap. Run your face into it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Iron Beak Owl, you served me well. And go away, you piece of crap. Alright, I'm in an extremely, extremely good position here. I got so lucky with that Iron Beak Owl, just unbelievably lucky. That's exactly what I needed. Exactly. And it's my only silence in the entire deck. Alright, what have you got? A Leper Gnome? What? what cards do you have in your hand? You have quite a bit. What is it? Hmm. Hunter's Mark. Ooh, are you getting... Okay. Well, my Warsaw Commander is still alive. Hmm. You know, I think maybe I should just put up more of a taunt wall and just go right for him. Yeah. Why not? I don't see any reason not to. Protect my stuff, bash things in the face. In fact, I will even do this. Kill myself. I don't have lethal, do I? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait, what the... What the hell? The end turn button's broken. <laughs> what the hell game? I'm pressing it. Come on. There we go. Jesus. God, that would've been... S I was worried the game was gonna make me look like a dick. I mean, to get him down to one health and then just, like, wait out the entire turn for no reason would be such a dick move. Alright, what could that be? Explosive trap, I think hunters have that. Snake trap. Yes, make it stronger. Alright, well, I don't know what it is, so... Let's do this. What is it? That's fine. Ooh, ouch. It's actually really good for him, but still, GG. Okay, come on. What the... There we go. Alright, the glorious 2-2. Win one, lose one, win one, lose one. Or actually, no, that was that was win one, lose one, lose one, win one. Light of the Raging Worgen, I think I'll keep the Whirlwind. Dark Iron Dwarf. Hmm. It could be combined to insane effect with a Raging Worgen. Maybe. So, should I keep it? I'm gonna keep it. I probably should have gotten rid of it. The Dark Iron Dwarf, I mean. Yeah, probably should have gotten rid of it. Man, that Raging Worgen does look enraged, doesn't it? 
thing is pissed off. Ooh. Actually, I think Armani Berserker and Whirlwind is probably the best play. Enrages it and gets rid of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so pretty. Look at that. Those effects over it. Next turn, I can play Dread Course. So, oh, that's dead. Dread Corsair or Dark Iron Dwarf. Or oh, Battle Rage for one card. Yeah, no thanks. Actually, I might just Raging Morgan. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, there's not much of a reason to put up a taunt with nothing to actually protect, really. Oh. Alright. Do you need a blessing? Acolyte of Pain's a very good play here. In fact, it probably makes the most sense. Thank you for the card. Attack it again. I will get yet another card. <laughs> okay, yeah, they're choosing not to give me another card. Although I'm just going to, you know, trade with the Priestess, of course. Wow, I can get a lot of card draw here. Okay, hold on. Um, crap, there's a lot of things to combo here. Now's a pretty good time to Battle Rage. It'll give me two cards. What now? Let's see. Yeah, I think I just want to do that. Let's see what I get. I could defend her of Argus. Nah. Let's just do this. Get yet another card. <laughs> I'm sitting on a lot of cards here. Now, nah, what do I play? They don't have a lot of damage potential. That's the nice thing. Hmm, maybe I should play nothing. Let's take the thing's health down a bit. And get yet another card. Alright, so I'm sitting on tons of cards, and they have very little, little damage potential on the board. Of course, I need to start taking this stuff out. Next turn, I can Arcanite Reaper to take out the Demolisher, which is probably the best play. Leaves me with two mana to do what? Whirlwind, I suppose. Hmm. I have six damage potential on the board at the moment. I don't know if I really need to bring out the Arcanine Reaper. What now? So many decisions here, but I'm not exactly sure what to do. Whirlwind's dumb. Uh, I should probably charge down that thing. Yeah. Victory. 
All right. So I'm sitting on a bunch of cards. I can. I have a lot of options. Now it's time to start playing them. Of course, they have a lot of cards too because they're a warlock and they always have cards. Whoops. They have a lot of big scaries, too. So what are you going to do? Take out my Argent Commander? Or ignore it and go for the throat? Alright. Hmm. Okay, this Stampeding Kodo would guarantee the removal of the Acolyte of Pain. And I'm not sure whether that even triggers the card draw or not. That might actually not. That leaves me with three to do what? Well, nothing. Hmm. I think it's worth it, though. Yeah, it doesn't even give him, a, give him a card when you do that. Okay, cool. Why do you fall? Ah, Voidwalker. Good card. Can just punch through that with my Stampeding Kodo, though. Okay, a little bit of damage, a little bit of heal. All right. Arcanite Reaper's looking good right about now. Okay, so Arcanite Reaper that. So we'll punch that in the face. Arcanite Reaper that. That leaves me with four mana to play with. Which I can do what with? Imp Master. Dark Iron Dwarf. Oh yeah, the Dread Corsair. That's right, now it costs nothing. Let's get that out. You know, I'm going to Dark Iron Dwarf that. Yeah, because if I get out the Imp Master, I'm going to be really hesitant to play Whirlwind. Because I'm going to have a lot of 1-1s, one so let's not do that. Okay. The Iron Beak Owl has betrayed me. Do I have to? Ooh, good play. That just puts it just out of reach with a certain buff combination I was thinking of doing. But I'm probably just going to bash it in the face. It's probably the best thing to do. Alright, bash in the face, five, six, seven, eight. Then I need to do three damage so I can just use my uh stampeding Kodo, I suppose. What now? Any combos in my hand? Not really. Let's just bash it in the face. I almost want a whirlwind just to take out that damn blood imp, but I could always do that next turn. In the meantime, this is looking like a pretty good play. And since my little imps are going to get buffed by that, let's put out this. Every little imp is going to be a 2 2. <laughs> ah, yes. Of course, I have no taunt, but I could next turn. Thanks to my Defender of Argus. Ooh, you're going to kill it, aren't you? The Stormwind Champion. Yeah, use that in the Owl and take out all my extra damage potential. Wait, what are you doing? No, take 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 out my... What? Why? But if you remove this, you... What? Wait, I have lethal, don't I? Oh, I do. Oh. Well played. Could they have removed lethal if they attacked my Stormwind Knight? I think they might have. I'd have to count it. 
Okay, well, I've achieved three wins. I'm now happy. Let's see how further I can how much further I can go. Come on. I've now reached the happy state. If I can get to 4-3, I will reach the slightly more excited than generally happy state. Um, at 5-3, I'll get elated. At 6-3, I'll be joyous. At 7-3, I'll be merry. Um, and at 8-3, my mind will simply explode, thereby splattering my room with my brains. Hmm. Let's use bigger and stompier. Ooh. I do want to keep my Battle Rage just for the card draw. Which seems to so often screw me. What about Slam? Hmm. I want to keep the Dread Corsair and the Arcanine Reaper. That's a damn powerful combination. That makes it free. So on turn 5 I can play both. Um... I'm going to keep it all. Slam can be early removal or simply card draw. Maybe not the best idea, but we'll see. So on turn four, I can Arcanite Reaper and Dread Corsair. Oh. What the hell? Why would you hit me in the face? Unless you have a bunch of other weapons in your... In your hand, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, let's just get that out there. Hit it in the face if you want. Use up your fiery war axe on my 2-1 Murloc Raider. I'll take it. Okay. Good play. Ooh. Well, I have a lot of weapons. I'm just going to bide my time, and on turn 4, I will coin Arcanite Reaper and Dread Corsair. Which should absorb one hit from the Jungle Panther before it dies. Ooh. Alright, that's a lot of pressure. In fact, that kind of changes my plans. I think I need a Whirlwind. Yeah, I kind of need to Whirlwind to kill that. I need that off the board. Well, I could Slam, too. No, Whirlwind's better. Alright, kill that. It leaves a 2-2. Amani, Amani Berserker. Okay, let's... Hold on. Let's do this. And get two cards. Not exactly to plan, but on turn 5, I can always just do the Arcanite Reaper and Dread Corsair again. Really? I... I don't understand their plays. In that case, I would have absolutely used the minion against it instead of taking the damage, but... Huh. Well, let's stick to the plan here. And a free Dread Corsair. Don't mind using it up against such a relatively weak enemy because I have another one. I'm gonna Reaper everything. The Reaper's coming. Ooh, good. Good play. Bash that in the face and then get five damage on me. Okay, they have a lot of pressure, but they're also burning through their cards, so that's good for me. The, the damage to the face, though, is not so good. Uh, 
Okay. Wish I had a whirlwind right about now. Let's get you out and you out and bash you in the face. Draw a card and then take it out with the cruel taskmaster. Good idea. No, oh, they have their own Reaper. All right, we're going to be reaping each other's faces. Uh, I don't really want to use a Frost Elemental. They could just hit me in the face again, which puts me in a bad position. Alright, let's get this stuff out. They could take out one of those things, or hit me in the face. And next turn I can... Frost Elemental and Slam. Right, okay, that's gonna be a difficult. Okay. Oh, they're saving their weapon. Right. Right. So... Stormpike Commando that, and then Arcanite Reaper it. Wait, what the f- No, I can't do that. What the hell am I talking about? That's dumb. Slam it, and then Arcanite Reaper it. Which leaves me with nothing to do anything else, but at least it's dead. Let's do this first, let's see what we get. Alright, can't play that. I kinda need to control what they have on the board. Because I'm so low on health. So... Let's get a card. If you want to Arcanite Reaper my Acolyte of Pain and give me a card and absorb 5 damage, be my guest. Ooh. Oh, son of a bitch. I think I just lost. You can't freeze a thing. Oh, God. I just lost, didn't I? You can't freeze it, right? No. Son of a... One hit point. If I, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can hero power. Hold on, it's not over. Alright, what does that leave me? Hmm. What's the best thing to play here? Let's get that down. No, I'll save that. Alright. Please don't have any damage potential. If you do, it's GG. That makes me think it's GG. What do you, what do you have? No, okay, okay. That slam only works on a minion, not on me, thankfully. What is it? What is it? Oh. That's going to be coming out next turn. Okay. 
This is a close game. If I can pull this back from the brink, it'd be a miracle. Well, that Agent Brewmaster's gonna die to an Argent Commander, there's really no doubt about that. I can't really be punching things in the face. So, what are we gonna do? I need to kill everything on the board. Absolutely everything. But the thing is, next turn, they're gonna play that damn... The damn stealth creature again. So, <laughs> where does that leave me? I still have no way to control it whatsoever. Which is why I think I need to start doing some crazy damage. I think maybe I should just freeze that damn thing. Alright, let's get a card. Ooh. That could be some nice burst damage. That, I'm gonna freeze. I have to hope next turn that they don't play a taunt or something. Or, wait a minute, they, they still have the... Oh yeah, this must be the card that's just bugged out on the board, the one that they just took back. That's GG. Son of a bitch. Their own Warsong Commander. They top-decked a Warsong Commander. Well played. Well played. It's just my, it's just like my damn Iron Beak Owl. Alright, 3-3, whatever, I'm happy with it. I got three wins. And if I can get 20 gold, I can have enough to do two more arenas. Still though, I've had a relatively bad streak. I started off doing pretty damn good, but just my last four runs have been 2-3, 2-3, 3-3, and 3-3. That's just... Well, that's below average. Not a place I like to be. Twenty gold. Twenty gold. That's not twenty gold. Twenty gold. That's not twenty gold. Twenty gold. Thirty gold. Okay. Two more arena runs. Sweet. Let's see what's in the pack. Uh, pack. Ooh, epic. South Sea Captain. Your other pirates have plus one, plus one. That would be a damn good card in a constructed pirate deck. Hmm. Cool. Alright, so yeah, I'm certainly not ecstatic with, with how I've done, but... I finished 3-3, three, three, so I essentially broke even. With my wins to losses. So, not bad. Alright. I hope you enjoyed, and I will be back soon with another arena run.